Jesus Yumbi. I am Trevor Davis. And I'm Kyle Seid. We'll be out of the Sustainable yeah. Seal Solutions. First of all, I want to introduce some qualifications of our company. The project name is NU Dining Expansion, owned by Arizona Board of Residents. As for uh, our qualifications, uh, our license number is 2943, and we have many, suc uh, many successful experience uh, associated with steel work. And uh, in the last three years, we didn't have any uh, death claps, and our, and our average EMR is 0.6, and uh, RFR for 2.8. The completed safety program, sufficient financial certainty, and insurance support are our strengths compared with other steel companies. Some previous work uh, we've worked on is Hope College in Holland, Michigan. Um, it's the Phelps Dining uh, renovation. We updated their interior and uh, added more space for the students to eat. Um, we separated all the units by glass partitions, added drop ceilings and lights. And uh, there's brick retaining walls that divide the students into like kind of like sections. Um, some more of our work, um, the Maritime Academy uh, out in Massachusetts, um, we added 2,700 square feet of um, eating space and uh, the trickiest part was building it on wetlands. So our company is qualified for building on really um, not suitable soil. Um, it ended up being t in total holding uh, 1,600 people after the expansion was uh, all said and done. Um, some current projects our company is working on is our Myers College Student Center. Uh, it's also a renovation. Um, there's extensive stone work on the front, stone and brick work on the front, and um, we added glass panel walls on the south side. You can't see it in this picture, but uh, to add light in so the students can eat with some natural light while leaving um, kind of an environmental uh, impact on the school so there's not, uh, they don't have to use too many lights. Um, our last project I'll be talking about is uh, our student center for Lin in uh, Lynchburg, Tennessee. Um, this entire front entrance is glass, which also uh, helps with light and uh, lowering energy um, usage. Um, it's an all brick building, but we added vaulted or we pushed out the second floor and added vaulted ceilings. Um, and it, the architects wanted exposed steel members. For the NAU dining hall, our general scope of work um, will include the expansion part, which is adjacent to the existing dining hall. Um, this consists of structural steel, beams, girders, and columns, uh, second steel floor deck, composite deck, um, steel roof deck, anchor bolts, angles, plates, all that good stuff. As for all the quality and estimate salary, uh, we respect, respectively calculate um, the following items. W-shaped flanges, angles, uncle balls, head stairs, mantle decks, hollow steel structure, and uh, other plastics. A uh, place place. Uh, the W-shaped flanges occupy the, the largest width of steels, which is 82.09 tons, and followed by angle, angles and uh, um, hollow steel structures. For the metal decks, uh, we calculate its square feet is more than 33,000 square feet. As for the material esti estimates, the total cost uh, is 544 100 13 dollars and uh, the double shaped girders and beams uh, uh, took the largest part of the total cost followed by columns and uh, metal decks I think uh, the cost estimate is a uh, very reasonable and accurate which can can be used uh, in construction
right, so in order to uh, move our crane around and have our, all our materials ready to roll and just be able to pick it off the, the bed storage and just hoist it up there, have connectors ready to roll and get this uh, project done as soon as possible, we're going to bring in our crane here uh, just north of the uh, field house, come up and then you use the east side of the building here to go back and forth <coughs> and be able to reach all these areas out here for uh, when, when necessary. And then our material will come in here on, that, on the, the bicycle and sidewalk path and we'll have designated areas for just to leave the flatbed so we don't have to take it off and stuff like that. We can just pick it off the flatbed, hoist it up. So we'll, we have designated areas for those, for those beds. Uh, it really just depends on where we're going to be working as to what, where we store them at. And when uh, selecting, to get started on selecting our crane, we took into account a few important parameters. First one being the weight. And this is the biggest bowstring truss that we could find on there. So we kind of just did some calculations, looked at the details, and got a bunch of, got the weight for it, which came out to about 3,000 pounds. And that kind of, that definitely helped with selecting our crane. And the largest pick from the, from the east side of the building would probably be about 135 feet, that's counting a little 10 feet with some uh, I don't know, waste or whatever. The height of the construction uh, is 35 feet, so we're going to add another 35 feet to the slings and boom and all that stuff just to make sure we're clear of height. And this is our detailed construction schedule. To get started, we kind of just surveyed uh, all the quantity of steel that we need, came out to around 142. And then after that, we ordered it from the mill and kind of asked for it in three shipments. Uh, what we have here is our safety summary. Uh, we loaded it into Excel documents so it's easier to read. But uh, we broke it down into huge categories, kind of broad. But um, we basically, at first, we have a uh, level of site. That has to be complete um, up to safety standards and make sure everyone's out of the way of all that stuff. There's a lot of uh, struck by and falling hazards, even trip hazards on this site. So we got to be careful of um, making sure that we don't also disturb the students and the staff because the campus needs to be functioning um, while we're going through the construction phases. So uh, this is our bid project. And uh, really, thank you for coming out and watching us. Um, Sustainable Steel Solutions.